Conversations. I am your host, Megan Dawson, and I am here with the man, the myth, the legend, Chef John, from one of my personal favorites, the Community Grill. Now, we're going to have some fun today because we are going to make a little adult beverage. We're going to make a fun, super secret sandwich that happens to be one of my favorites. And we're just going to chat a bit about one of my local favorites that I can't wait to introduce to you all. Welcome, Chef John. See, there's my dog. It's always chaos when you do this at home. <laughs> That's a great intro. I love it when the dog like opens up the intro, you know, know. it makes it fun. <laughs> hey, you mentioned the word fun, and that's what the Community Grill is all about. In the middle of all this craziness we got in the world, we all got to have a good time. We're Texans. We live up here in Frisco, so I am so glad to use the word fun, and I can't wait. We're going to have a blast today. Awesome. Well, for sure. I don't know, followers, if you are not checking out the Community Grill on their social media, um, first of all, what are you doing? Go do it right now because Chef John is a lot of fun. He posts videos that make you want to eat the food, they make you laugh, they're entertaining, and we're only going to try and capture some of that magic on here because I think I'm probably like 1% as fun as Chef John, but I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about that, but I will it. tell you that on the videos, I try to accomplish three things. I try to, you know, make some food and drinks and, you know, introduce some stuff. I try to, have, number two, I try to have fun. And number three, I try to embarrass my teenage daughters. And I'm pretty good at all three of those. <laughs> well, it's not really hard to embarrass any teenagers. As you saw, no. my soon-to-be teenager walked by and wouldn't even show his face. He was like this. So I get it. Um, all right, so tell me what we're making. This is a fun cocktail that I'm excited about because it's not every day you get to have a Chef John kind of craft cocktail in your house that you okay. need yourself and this is one of my originals. This is the first drink recipe that I actually did in my backyard before we even had a restaurant. And I taught everybody how to make it. Yes, this is our summer regret. And why do I call it a summer regret? Because if you don't have one of these this summer, you're going to regret it for sure. It's totally the opposite reason why I would thought it was called that. But that's fine. I like this one much better. It's got a lot less embarrassment. <laughs> <in there. laughs> I got to be a little bit more public, you know. So All <laughs> right, you are go. you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mason jar and I'm going to just fill it with ice. Okay, here's my mason jar. Not the easiest thing out of a big old bucket, but that's all right. We'll make it. And I'm just going to leave that here on the side for now. And then I'm going to grab my lemon. All right. Everybody says, I know how to cut a lemon, but I want to show you how to be careful cutting a lemon. Oh, First no. of all, you grab your knife and you hold your knife right here. See where my fingers are? You kind of pinch the end of your knife right there so you have firm control of your knife. Okay, if not, not, when you I hold it back here. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, most people hold it back here and look at it. It's all over the place. If I pinch it and then take my fingers and just hold it, I've got firm control of my knife. Okay. The second thing I do is I hold the lemon with my fingers pulled back like this because I hate it when I cut my fingers off. Mm -hmm. And lemons are one of the most dangerous things that you can cut because it really? has seeds inside. Yeah. Your knife hits that seed and it jumps. And then you end up with stitches or worse. So, so you put your fingers like this. So if the knife jumps, you don't get cut. Now, I'll take my knife. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I just want to take off the end. All right. Put that aside. So it's flat. Yep. Then I'm going to take my knife. Again, I'm going to hold my fingers back. I'm only going to cut halfway through my lemon here like this. Okay, like in the middle. Yep. And then stop halfway through it. Okay. Now I'm going to put that cut side down to the bottom. Grab my knife. And I'm just going to cut a few wheels. Okay. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I pick up what you're laying down. I got it. There we go. Now we're going to grab our glass because I like things that look pretty. So we're going to kind of twist a little bit of that juice in there, but then I'm going to stuff it over to the sides. So when we actually do put our drink in there, it's going to look really, really cool. Oh. Okay. And I'm going to save one for the top. Okay. 
All right. All right. Now, next thing we're going to do is grab our shaker tin. Now, I'm going to put some ice in the shaker tin as well. Okay, you got your ice. Got now, ice. I'm going to grab go. going to grab my vodka. I love Western Sun Vodka. Western Sun Vodka is just up here in Pilot Point. There are neighbors that come in here or the owner lives over in the trails. I mean, I love pouring Western Sun. So I'm going to pour in an ounce and a half of Western Sun. And when you look at bartenders, if you count, when they pull that bottle up, if you count for every one count, it's a quarter of an ounce. So I'm going to count to six. Okay. Now, Chef John graciously measured it out for me, so I can just dump it in. Oh, absolutely. I, <laughs> I didn't say I was making it at home. I'm making it here at the restaurant, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so an ounce and a half of vodka, and then I'm going to throw in a half ounce of blue curacao. Blue curacao is actually an orange flavor liqueur, but it's blue, so it's pretty. Yeah, so I throw blue. some of that in here. A little bit of blue. Just a little bit. Yeah, like blue too, so you can't see. Yeah, it just you just want a little bit in there, right? You know. And then I'm going to put in some nice lemon juice. I'm going to put in about four ounces of lemon juice. Okay, so that's like half my cup. You think? I, I think it's about half that cup. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the Megan test right here. We're going to put our top onto our shaker glass. And we have a rule here at the community grill and kind of a rule in the restaurant business that when you shake, you got to shake your shaker and you got to smile and you got to have a great time. So I'll kind of give you an example then Megan, okay, here we go. Go. This, this is how I embarrass my daughters right here. Yeah. Shaking it up so it's good. My is that silly enough? That was awesome. I think I can pop it. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I did it. I love it. I love it. Look at that. All right. You you can come work the bar tomorrow night. I got you. <laughs> AJ will help and let you help, right? You might okay, not so know this, like, but my goal uh, of all of these shows is to eventually get jobs at all these restaurants. Just so you know. You can come over here and, and hang out with us any day. <laughs> so we're going to take off that lid now. Okay. We're going to put our strainer on there. Okay. And we're just going to pour our beverage in until it's about two thirds of the way up. Eh, maybe a splash one. Oh, that's so pretty. See, I was trying to get something pretty. Perfect. And then we're going to top it with, I use Tapa Chico here in the restaurant. So we're just going to top it. Just get a little bit of bubbles in there. And then a straw. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a summer regret. This I'm telling you, you'll regret it if you don't get one. Let me try I've it. I've been on video in a long time, and this is fabulous. Fabulous. It's really nice and refreshing. You're sitting out on the patio, you're sitting by the pool, you know, it's a hot Texas summer day. This is it. It's not that sweet. You'd think it would be a little bit sweeter than it is, but the yeah. vodka helps with the, the lemonade and a little bit of top of Chico. Uh, it's, it's a nice, refreshing beverage. Yes, this is, I have no regrets about drinking this, even if it is Absolutely not. in the afternoon. That's okay. Okay, I'll take another sip. I'll take another sip because you said I had to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I double dog dared you. Okay, so now <laughs> while we have a second and we're enjoying a few sips of our afternoon cocktail, Tell me a little bit about Community Grill, because I know and love it, but our viewers might not. So I want them to understand your heart and what the Community Grill is all about. Well, thank you. I, uh, I think I probably just need to back up a little bit and let everybody know that I live here in Frisco. I mean, I live over right. in Phillips Creek Ranch, less than a mile away. So when I've been in the restaurant business for a long time, and when I was trying to think of what type of uh, restaurant that we're missing here in our neighborhood, all I could think about was a neighborhood tavern. Right. You know, those old neighborhood taverns that we all grew up with and we saw our friends there. There wasn't one around here. There's a lot of entertainment clusters. There's a lot of corporate restaurants yes. up and down the highway. But that little tavern was missing. Yes. Now, I'm a foodie, so I wanted to make sure it was great food. So right. I call it comfort food with a culinary flair. You know, I don't wear this chef jacket for nothing. Um, you know, we, we take our food. It might be something that you recognize might be our hamburger, but we take that burger and we season it a little bit differently than everybody else mm -hmm. does to give it a little bit of kick. We just kind of give it that extra boost. Um, 
It might be our chicken sandwich, our garden grilled chicken sandwich. One of my but favorites. I take that. Yeah, that's why I knew that's so why I brought it up. <laughs> one of the reasons it's great is that again, our culinary flair is I put it on our slicer after we have already roasted it in house, in extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. And I slice it nice, nice and thin to get rid of the elasticity. So you don't have to ah, fight with your chicken sandwich. You can just bite into that. And with that beautiful mustard aioli and the spinach yeah. and tomatoes and avocado, wow, that's not just a chicken sandwich. It's a wonderful chicken sandwich. So we try to give it a little bit of a culinary flair at the end. Um, but honestly, the restaurant is for neighbors. Uh, my wife put the tagline on it, where neighbors gather. I yeah. love it on a Friday night where I see neighbors walking amongst the tables. Hey, how's it going? Recognizing each yeah. other, recognizing the staff. Um, it's truly a family restaurant. I mean, we, we have a kid's menu. We have fantastic appetizers because my wife and I, when we go out, we love eating a lot of, splitting a lot of appetizers. Right. So we put extra appetizers on our menu, but we have everything from pastas to seafood to sandwiches, uh, tacos. I mean, we got just about everything on our menu, but again, we put that little bit of chef love in there so that when you do get a meal, it's unbelievably good. Absolutely. I mean, I'll give my own personal plug for you right now. Um, and I am not paid for this viewers, but <laughs> we are frequents at the community grill and it is one of the only restaurants, maybe the only restaurant. I don't, I don't quote me on that, that everybody likes. So from my husband to me, to my kids, cause you know, kids can be picky and absolutely. We, we can all agree on Community Grill. We all love it. The atmosphere that you've created is kind of like cheers, but not, you know, cheers. But I feel like when I go in there that I'm among friends. It's light, it's airy, and the food. Oh my gosh, that much that you're talking about, it is above. And I did use a pun on purpose, everybody, because he cuts the chicken. You get it? Um, yes, I did. Okay. I did. All right. There you go. I did. <laughs> I was waiting for it. There was tumbleweeds for a second. But it is truly, I love that sandwich. It is amazing. And our favorite appetizer as a family, can you guess what it is? It's our favorite family appetizer. Well, it's got to be the cheese skirts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I will put my ranch dressing up against anybody's ranch in the city. And that's a bold claim, right? Because oh, we live here in Texas and everybody makes great ranch dressing. But I know what goes inside my ranch dressing. And I can tell, I mean, there's some really, really good ranch dressings. Don't get me wrong. I'm not putting down anybody else's product. But we make an unbelievable ranch dressing, which costs me more to make. However, being in Texas, 75% of the tables get ranch on that table. So yep. if you're going to have ranch on all those tables, it better be a darn good ranch. And I'm proud to say it's a fantastic ranch. It is. And it's really funny that you brought that up because we had this same conversation at our dinner table last week when we ordered Community Grill. My daughter is a huge ranch snob at the ripe old age of nine years old. And so yeah. she is like a connoisseur. And she hogs the ranch from the cheese curds. And it's like a little bit of a fist fight. And we had this whole conversation about how the ranch is different. This is not just, you know, from the bottle ranch that you get at no. the grocery store. It's amazing. So the cheese curds cause near riots in my house. They're amazing. They're not really healthy. Um, what? Oh, no, of course they are. Of course they are. You know, first of all, it's a Wisconsin cheese curd. Right. I found this type of cheese curd at a Green Bay Packer game at Lambeau. Okay. So, you know, I was there with my buddy Mike. He's a big Packer fan. I was there in all my team's gear. I lost that day. Haven't lived mm -hmm. it down since. We have to go back and see it again um, and look at the tape. I know they cheated. That's the only way I lost, right? But um, we, we probably tasted in his backyard when we got back, because Mike's from Wisconsin, we probably tasted 20 different cheese curds to find exactly what we had in the stadium that day. And that's what we serve here. Now, our, it's, our kitchen is legit. about an 85%, 85% scratch kitchen. And so, you know, our food is really fresh. But when you find something that somebody else makes for you, like that cheese curd, which is unbelievable, 
so you good. let them bring that to you and then you give the, your homemade ranch on the side to give it to you know your special touch but oh my gosh that cheese curd is fantastic so good frisco worth i don't care if you're like not even in frisco and you're in dallas or fort worth worth the drive for the cheese curds okay so we're Absolutely. gonna make a quick tip our summer regrets but Steph Don's gonna show me something really cool. It's a super secret sandwich that's sometimes on the menu and sometimes not, but it's one of my favorites. So right, while cool. we prep, we're gonna go grab our stuff and then when we come back, he's gonna tell us what we're gonna make. Okay, we got all our stuff. John, tell us what we're making right now because it looks amazing. Okay, now before I jump into that, I just wanna show you guys something. Up here is our chalkboard. So every single week, we come up with different features that Chef Kaylee and I uh, make and we come up with new recipes and create different food because we just like having fun with food. Yeah. And we test lots of uh, food back there. Some of our regulars come in in the afternoons when we're doing it, some, but all of our staff gets to taste it. We yeah. come up with new food items. Now, I don't like the word specials. In my industry, specials means I'm gonna run something to save food costs or I'm gonna run something because I gotta get rid of it. What really? I do is I bring in commodities special just for people my might feature. not know that. I don't. Yeah, our viewers yeah. might not know that, but that's really good to know. There's a it, it's it's true. You know, I mean, there's a reason behind everything, right? So yeah. what I try to do, my reason for the features is to bring in commodities just for this to keep everything changing, keep it vibrant, and give my regulars something new. And to be honest with you, I love 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 creating new recipes so uh, we just have a blast back there with food so one of those items which you can kind of see laid out here is our uh, summer barbecue in a wrap now i've laid out all my mise en place out here in front of us that's a fancy chef word right there you go mise en place, mise en place means everything you need in order to finish the job so all the ingredients but it sounds so much cooler. It makes me sound like a so chef fancy. when I call it mise en place. That's yeah. right, that's right, see? So I've got myself a nice big tortilla, a wrapped tortilla. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put two pieces of cheddar cheese because when I think of summer barbecue, I think about cheddar cheese first. Okay, I'm right on top okay. of each other, next to each other. You want to kind of, you want to kind of shingle them a little bit, and you want it to be inside. You don't want to get all to the edge because we're going to fold this up and roll it here in a second. Okay. Okay. That's my first right. night rolling burritos, so this should be fun. Okay. Okay, and now this cheese is also going to be your base, so you, we know we're going to build everything within that cheese now. Okay. So it makes it pretty easy. Throw that slaw right on top of the cheddar cheese. Because when you go on a uh, barbecue picnic, don't you have coleslaw? Absolutely. I got slaw, I got slaw. Okay, next, I've got a good dill pickle, pickle spear. I take out my pickles. Again, I'm gonna hold this knife. Oh, that's right here right. by the Thank edge. You. And I'm just gonna dice this pickle up. And I'm gonna add my pickles. Ooh right on top you're a bit faster than me i'm catching up that's all right i'm supposed to be i'm a chef that's true i said i said mise en place i'm supposed to be cool <laughs> that makes you really really super cool okay i'm there i got my pickles on we're good to go okay my daughters are dying right now okay <laughs> i've already warmed up my chicken again remember it's really thinly sliced chicken if you want to go and get some chicken that's sliced for you already. You can do that and bring it home and just warm it up. Yeah. Or you can go ahead and cook your chicken breast, but I slice it on the bias so it's real thin. It's another yeah. chef word, slice it on an angle. You can go ahead and mix that with your barbecue sauce. Now, that's really uh, kind of the way my wife would use the spoon to do that. I don't, I just go ahead and mix it up with my hand. That way it's evenly mixed. No. And then I pull that chicken like this over to the side. My daughters love it. That's why I have extra gloves here everywhere. <laughs> and I just take this big old piece and lay it right here and flatten it out. Flatten it out. I got all that chicken. And I'm going to flatten it out a little bit so it makes it easier for us to roll. Okay. This smells amazing. 
Now, I love barbecue chicken when I'm on a barbecue, but I also love having chips as well. So we're gonna right. take some potato chips and we're gonna lay some potato chips on top here. I like it because it gives a little bit of crunch, a little bit of texture in there with my wrap, right? And the one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of push down to break them just a little bit, because okay. if I don't, they're gonna poke through our wrap, which okay. it might do because we've been here for just a little bit. It might tear on me. I hope not because I'm a chef and it's not supposed to tear. We won't judge, it's okay. It'll still taste good. No, if it right. tears and somebody's gonna go grab me another tortilla and I'm gonna show you a trick on how to fix it. So Ooh. we're just gonna fold it over the top and I'm gonna hold that with my middle finger. Okay. And I'm gonna pinch down here with my thumbs. Can you see that? See how I'm pinching yeah, right there? I don't there? think I'm doing it right, but okay, yes. I can see. Hey, as long as you get it wrapped, that's all that's important, right? I'm gonna pull this up. Now I'm gonna pinch the front and I am just going to roll it all the way over. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to get it too tight. If you get oh, it too tight, it. is it breaking? Yeah. Okay, that's because it's too tight. I okay. gave you two tortillas, didn't I? You did. Okay, let's open that it, back though. up. I think I got let's it. Open that back up. You, okay. Did you save it? I got it. It's, it's saved. Okay. It's not pretty, but it works. This is everything you get at a barbecue all inside one wrap because you know what? I'm crazy. And one day I thought, hey, let's just put everything inside. And this is what came out. It's perfect. And when we first talked about this, you said, it just shows that I don't, I don't care about rules. I'm going to break the rules. No. Real chefs, I'm going to use air quotes because everybody knows what air quotes are. Real chefs wouldn't put potato chips in a sandwich. You would. That's why we love you. You know, I, that's a, I build everything based on flavors. And I just go ahead and try stuff. And about 75% of the items that we make are fantastic. 25% of the items we make are not good, and you'll never see those. Those are the ones I'm in the back and I'm testing, and I'm like, what was I thinking? And I'll move on. Well, that's just true of all cooking. I mean, truthfully, it, it's half of what you make is going to be a bomb, and you have to be okay with that because the good stuff comes when it's not a bomb. All right, it's just so about having fun. We have made a fantastic cocktail that – Y'all, Frisco, just go. They are, their dining room is open now and they are being safe. They're following the 25% guidelines, but please go because you will regret it. Some regret if you don't go. Yep. It's like a drinking game. You have to take a sip every time I say it. And you have to order this sandwich. Now, if you go and you say, hey, I'd like that sandwich, and they say, oh, sorry, that's not on the menu today. There's a super secret way to get it, right? You just say, oh, nudge, yeah, nudge. This is one of our secret items that doesn't show up on our main menu. I run it on the chalkboard sometimes, but if it, you come in, I can't make everything that we run on the chalkboard because it depends if I have the commodities. Right. But I do have the commodities for this, so I can make this for you. Or I can make our peanut butter and jelly wings. Yeah, you heard that right. Yes. I've I heard make about our wings with peanut butter and jelly. Now, that's not going to show up in the menu because I think that there should be some stuff that my regular guests just know that it's a secret. So yes. if somebody says, I want that barbecue wrap, and the server says, I'm sorry, we're not doing that this week, tell them to ask Chef John, tell them to ask Chef Kaylee, we can make it for you, no problem. We love Community Grill, and the reason why I have you on here is because oh. I asked all of Frisco to love Community Grill, but John, you have to tell us how to find you, because I wanna make sure that my followers and the people watching know exactly where to go to figure out how to get to Community Grill. So tell me just a little bit. Okay, now the construction's all cleared up on Main Street. Right. It's so much easier. It's an easier drive. I'm right on Main Street, yep. but I'm just west of Teal. So if you cross Teal and you run past that Firestone, right there on the end cap, right up on Main Street, is where the community grill is. And we would love it if you come to visit us. Yes, and tell them Megan sent you because it truly is like the place where everybody knows your name. My family's there a lot on Friday nights. It's like our spot. My dog is sitting behind me begging for some chicken right now, which is really funny. <laughs> but You'll probably see my 13-year-old. My 13-year-old works here all the time. My two nephews, my mother-in-law works here. You know, I'm here. It's truly a family restaurant. This 
totally family. You can't go without seeing one of your family members. All right. of the servers are like family. It is just, I don't know, I'm gushing and it sounds weird, so I'm going to stop. But I just, I strongly urge you guys, go visit the Community Grill, get a summer regret, get a barbecue picnic sandwich, get the cheese curds, please. And let me know. I'll meet you there. If you want to go, if you feel uncomfortable, I'll go because Chef John and I, we're like this. It's fine. We'll show up together. Absolutely. Exactly. We're, we're there. But again, we're 85% scratch kitchen. So if you have any dietary needs or, you know, allergy needs, just let us know. We try to make all kids that come in and have uh, any dietary needs feel special. We go over to the table. Hey, we can get our chef on. This is so much love fun. It. I love you coming in here. You know, it should be a special event for everybody. And we have because we're 85% scratch kitchen, because we have chefs here in the house, we have the ability to take care of just about anything you need. Right, well, that just goes to show there is a real heart for community behind the community grill. Yes, I did another pun. Thank you so much, Chef John, for coming on and talking with us today. It has been a true pleasure. Everybody, now that the restaurants are starting to open up, they took care of us during quarantine. Now let's go take care of them. Just Love them as best we can and show them kindness and grace and love. Thank you all so much. It's been a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you so much. And follow us on our Facebook page because we'll have some community events coming up. And we'll yeah. have those features up there every single week. And I do teach every now and then how to make an adult beverage or a menu near as well. Because I just, I love teaching and, how to, and sharing how to make some of our recipes. I love it. You are a pleasure, your entire family. I love them all. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.